Hey guys, Crash here. Today I'm going to show you how to manage your music and videos on your PS Vita without QMCA. We're going to use a program or a VPAC by CNSLDV called Media Importer. Let's get to it. So using FileZilla and the FTP option in Vita Shell, you'll want to log in and do port 1337 and go quick connect and you'll want to drop the vpack into wherever you put them I have a downloads folder so what you want to do is you'll just want to go up here to the address bar and type in media importer github I'll also have a link down in the description for you and you'll want to go to this guy's releases I don't know what he's supposed to be spelling, but it's Media Importer GitHub. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. On the main page, it will show you how, how it works. You put your music and your videos into the appropriate folders, which is listed here. UXO Music and Videos, and it will categorize or catalog all those videos and music onto your PS Vita for you. Um, it also does it for every subfolder. Uh, if you want to build this, if you're into Linux building, there's all that stuff. There's release notes and whatnot. But just go over here to releases, get uh, 0 0.91 video folders release, download it. If you're on Google Chrome, you can just grab it from down here, and drop it in when it's ready. So you'll just want to click on it, get the VPK, grab it, and drop it in. Could I overwrite this for us? All right, that's pretty much it. Now, more importantly, you want to add music. Don't forget to do that. So you want to go to UX0 and add into your music folders and into your video folders. and they can have um, subfolders and they can be named whatever they want so like I said go into your music folder put all your music in there and you can I have them categorized into my different uh, music folders from my CD drive or you can just throw them in all willy-nilly like I did there at the bottom and it will pick them up and if it has all the data on the side it will arrange them into folders for videos you can put them into uh, their own folders as well and if you put a JPEG with the same folder name you can get little tiles on your Vita for the videos I did that with my Harry Potters and you'll see that later all right we're hopping over to the Vita so open up Vita Shell. I have mine with the shortcut enhancer. That's a cool little plugin. Navigate to where you installed the media importer. Remember, I put mine in my downloads folder. Go in and find the VPK, and then go ahead and install it. Go ahead and exit VitaShell, and uh, go and find your new bubble media uh, importer. But first, I want to show you that uh, I don't have anything in here. I was listening to Tank earlier. Love that song. But as you see, I have no content in anything in my music or in my videos. And as you can see, I don't have any videos here. So what this thing does is it uh, rewrites your databases for you. So it will kind of log all your songs and stuff. So go ahead and open Media Importer. The interface is very simple. So we're wanting to update the database. So press the cross or the X button. And it will go through and find all your videos and all your songs and put in, I have what, 
241. Okay, done. Press circle to exit. And let's go check it out. When you open it up, it will ask, that uh, will rebuild the database. So let it do it. Don't mess with it. Once it's done, you'll have all your songs and by album and stuff. It doesn't pick up any pictures for the album covers or anything like that. But, you know, as long as they're on there, I'm happy for right now. Now, uh, videos, if you put a JPEG with the same name as the MP4, it will add to the little titles here. So that's really cool. I went and grabbed those Harry Potter ones. So that's how I've been managing my uh, videos and my music on my PS Vita with this cool little app, Media Importer. Uh, pick it up. As always, uh, thanks for watching. If you like the stuff, like and subscribe. And as always, guys, game on.